What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining me this week. How do you keep track of your weekly work accomplishments? If you're like me, you wait until the end of the week and then dread having to think back all the way to Monday to try to remember what you did that week. By that point, all I usually remember is what I ate for breakfast that morning and whatever the most immediate fire I was putting out was. So I wanted to get into the habit of doing a better job of logging my work accomplishments. I did that by building a command line tool called Jern, which helps you log and tag all of your daily work. Not only has it made tracking my work easier, but it's made it easier to remember what I need to share at standups and as well as kind of for end of the year performance evaluations, uh, it helps me summarize all of my work in an easy and concise way. And so in today's video, I want to show you how the tool works and how you can use it to help keep track of your work. So let's get started. So to get started, we are going to install Jern and we can do that by just writing pip install Jern. Pretty straightforward. Um, if you prefer, you can also look at the source code at the GitHub page and install it straight from there. I'll include a link in the video and there's one in the blog post as well. But for our purposes, we're just going to use the pip package to install it. Now using Jern is pretty straightforward. We can just say Jern log and then pass in our option for a message. So let's say wrangled cats via lasso. And that's it. Um, it goes ahead and logs that, and we'll take a look at it in a second. Now, just to point out all of this data for Jern is stored locally. So um, after you log your initial message, it gets saved to this .jern folder in a SQLite uh, Jern database. So data never leaves your machine. It's yours. You can you know, run SQLite and query against that data, do whatever you need with it. Now, in addition to just logging regular messages, we can also log messages with a tag to help organize our journal entry. So we can just, with that same message before, right, we can add a, a dash T for tag and we can say something like physical fitness. And now when we log that entry, it gets tagged under the physical fitness category. Now, Jern also allows for tab completion uh, if using the tags, but to get that to work, we just first need to modify our bashrc or zshrc file. And if we go into there and we'll just add a line at the bottom here, um, we want to paste in, whoops, we want to paste in this command here uh, to allow the um, the shell to help with tab completes. And since we're using ZSH, we're just going to change bash to ZHS there and it should work great. So if we exit out of here and we source our ZSH file, right? And this will depend if you're using the fish shell or bash or whatever, um, you'll have to kind of just make a specific change there. You could take a look at the blog post for more information about that. But now if we go ahead and try to run our previous command where we have um, a partial tag, right? Maybe it'll, it'll auto complete it for us because it's going behind the scenes to our SQLite database and seeing what entries are available there. So just to give you an idea of how that works, we can log another message, right? So maybe uh, we'll do something like installed new locks on the doors and we will tag that with physical security. And so now if we wanna log another message, right? So maybe we'll say added storage to camera recording devices Right, and we want to tag, we can start typing in physical and then tab complete, right? And it'll give us all our options there. So right, we want to finish with security, we'll tab again, and we're good to go. Uh, that tab completion makes it really easy to categorize your messages and we'll see how Jern uh, outputs that in a moment. Jern also allows for tagging with subcategories. So if we go back to our physical fitness category, right, maybe we can say our message that we're logging is new PR benching to mules. And so we want to tag that with uh, physical fitness and then maybe a subcategory of, you know, strength training or whatever. Um, and so that'll log it, log it and we'll see how that looks in a second as well. 
And so now if we want to actually display our entries, right, we could just do a simple jern print command and it'll show us all the logs from today. So here you can see we have um, multiple, uh, here's our original message without a tag. It's just kind of at the parent level. Anything we tagged with physical fitness, right now we have um, our second message from before, wrangled cats via lasso showed up there. We also create a subcategory of strength, right, with our, our message there and a different category of physical security. So Jern is able to categorize and display all of this data very nicely, right, by running a simple Jern print command. By default, Jern just looks at today's data, but there are additional options you can pass in. So dash D um, is the same as uh, duration, right? And you can say day or week or month or whatever, right? And it'll kind of display that and you can see it puts out the date ranges up here. Additionally, there are date, start and end uh, parameters that you can pass in. Um, and I'll leave that as an exercise to you, right? So you can always say Jern print help and see all of those available options. Now, one of the features that I included in this that's really been helping me is this early end option. So let me just kind of show you what it looks like. If I write Jern early end 60 log dash T, what this is gonna do is basically say, it's only gonna ask me to log my entry if 60 minutes have passed. And if 60 minutes haven't passed, then it's not gonna do anything. So if I run this, right, you can see nothing got logged. It didn't ask me for a message or anything like that because I just added messages, you know, a minute or two ago. If instead, right, just to kind of show you as a demo, if it's been one minute since I last logged something, Jern would prompt me with, okay, what kind of tag do I wanna do? So I'll say physical, uh, fitness again, right, cardio. And then my message can be, you know, whatever, wrangling more cats. So the nice thing about that early end option is I like to put it inside my bash RC or ZSHRC file, right? So that when I, anytime I open up a new terminal window, it'll pop up with that, right? So as an example, if I throw in here, Churn early end. We'll do one minute again, just so we could see it actually work. And that'll be our command there. We'll save and quit. And so now if we open a new tab, we should see, oh, no prompt popped up because it hasn't been a minute yet, but let's wait. So now it's been over a minute. So if I open up a new tab, we'll see Jern just pops up immediately on a new terminal window opening. And so this acts f as a reminder for me to log my work because usually as I'm working all day, I forget what I, uh, you know, I get wrapped up in something and then I'll actually forget to do my log entry. So by adding that to my shell startup script, it is a is something that every time I open up a new terminal window, which is a hundred times a day, um, I'll get a little reminder saying, hey, what have you been working on? And so that's a nice way to help me kind of stay on track with keeping track of my daily work. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are keeping track of your daily work because it's a really good thing to do as a developer. Like I said, not only does it help you kind of keep track of things during the week for things like stand-up meetings and whatever, um, but especially with this time of year, with it being kind of performance evaluation season for a lot of people, at companies at the end of the year. Uh, it's a really nifty way to go back and be able to kind of query your SQLite database, say Jern print, pass in the year long parameter and have a list of everything you've done. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.